What is going on everyone? Welcome back to Derek Brand Productions for another video. Thank you all so much for tuning back into the channel. We actually have some important news coming. Uh, if you want to find out this important news, it actually revolves these two guys. You have to go subscribe to the Dosa DBP YouTube channel. It just popped up on the screen right there and there's a card right here. I actually just released another video last week, Wednesday. I haven't pushed it as hard as my other ones. Uh, if you're into sports of any sort, um, you're going to like this one. Let's go ahead and jump into today's video, the long-awaited Mach 1 front-end conversion for Hades, it's here, and I was actually a little halted because of this box, and oh, I just about broke my damn splitter. I wanna go ahead and give a huge, huge, huge shout out to Diodynamics. This was like a crucial modification with this bumper because if you, actually, hold on, check this out, I got another garage, but um, yeah, another garage, by the way. But if you check out Hades front end here, these are the stock fog lights, and you guys know when you turn them on, and I'll go ahead and give you a little demonstration. They are orange. Um, it doesn't look bad, but this box from Diodynamics is their Elite Series um, bright white. So they're gonna be white at all times. They're like a DRL fog light, and this is like real deal fogs. So I wanted to wait until these came in to really put this together because it's pointless. Put it all together, slap the stock fog lights in, take it all back off, put these in, because I knew from the jump when I first saw these, I wanted these bad boys. So shout out to Diode for sponsoring today's video. You guys are awesome. Well, what are you doing? What? Let's go ahead and get a closer look at what comes in with the Diode Dynamics. Focus. I don't know if I told y'all, but we need to set a light goal of 1,200 likes. I'm not gonna lie. I was pushing out daily content and y'all were sleeping. Y'all were stay, stay sleeping. Wake the f up, all right? Lock in, it's Monday. This is going to be a straight plug and play. Um, <laughs> Fog Ooh. light. So, I mean, it looks stock, I think, from the outside, but like I said, it'll always be um, like a really, really bright white. So, don't step on it. Pretty stoked on that. Yeah, don't step on it. <laughs> As I said, these are going to be Diodynamics um, White Series, Elite White Series. They also have um, like a yellow series as well, to where it'll be more of a yellow tint. Because on the black, the Euros, the DRLs, and the headlights, I think it's going to look ridiculous. Why are you talking about sandwiches? What? <laughs> huh? This made me, my stomach gargled a little bit when you said sandwich. I'm like, fat you ass. You said it here. first. I didn't say sandwiches. He did. Is he high? When did I say sandwiches? Ben gets me. So here on the floor, we have all our painted parts. And if you saw the video when we went to Cliffs and picked up everything, including, look at this sexy stuff. Look at this. So much blue. Cliff's the whole video is pretty good too. I watched that. Dude, Cliff is a savage. Yeah. He's gotten like I can't even say he's gotten good. He just dropped yeah. fucking heaters right off the rip. So good for you, Cliff. Go check out Cliff's um, POV of painting that stuff. Anyway, we got everything painted, and you could probably tell that we legit got everything painted. Um, the one thing I will say with this kit from Extreme Online Store and practically 99% of all aftermarket Mach 1 conversion kits. You, I recommend uh, painting the lips too uh, because they come in this really, really shiny, cheap plastic looking like just it just looks so cheap and shiny of plastic and it doesn't really match. I told him to paint these black alongside the grills to kind of match the factory black that uh, you know Ford uses and aftermarket companies use, like such as Blucifer side skirt here. So we did that. And speaking about mother, I'm literally gonna break it. We do have the bumper. And it's looking good. A little dusty, a little dusty. You gotta put the lips on, the grills in, the fog lights in, uh, the little side scoops in, and I am gonna disappoint a lot of you. I am going to run the factory grill covers. I looked into the brake ducts, like to actually run the real deal brake kit that, you know, goes through. I think you should just get out of the way and step on every single piece. Fucking Timmy two feet over here stomping. All right, shut up, you hillbilly <laughs> beanie wearing bitch. You're wearing a beanie too. No, I'm not. So with the Mach 1 grill, uh, the real deal kit, you know, these are actually active. The air goes through, it gets fed through ducts and straight into the brakes. I looked into it. It's really not necessary. I'm not tracking this car like that. And I know it's going to disappoint a lot of you, but whatever. I'm going to have Ben on the camera. So if he chalks the shots, you know who to blame. And, um... Yeah, we're gonna install this front bumper kit. We're gonna get it installed. <laughs> we're, gonna install it. we're gonna install it and we're gonna get it installed. Installing it, let's you need go. A coffee, dude. I got a coffee, bitch. I'm feeling good. Really? Hell yeah. You're all, you're 
I might be a little discombobulated because you know Jordan had me up till 3 a.m. That's why you suck at Rocket League. Take it easy, buddy. <laughs> These break off. I'm scared. Break to, off? Yeah, you're supposed to break them off. Yeah. Yeah, punch them out. Dude, Debbie, can we do it? No, 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 no. Absolutely. Yeah. Not. <laughs> let him do it. Let him cut the it with the one. Dude, twist it. You probably just twist it, twist it. Grab the stick and twist it. I'm scared. To ah. We haven't really officially started this install, but it starts with breaking these tabs. <laughs> Our install is officially fucked. Um, typically starting from the middle works the best. Alright. Front grill is installed. Um, definitely recommend two people just because you have to get leverage. But uh, Ben, do you want to hand us the bottom grill, please? Oh. And we'll snap that one. Hey. Bottom grill's installed, pretty self-explanatory. Just push, pop, that's about it. Now we're gonna do the side vents. Let's we'll start here, six goals average. <laughs> yeah, I got a few. We've come to the conclusion that these suck to get in. Um, we've got six out of the seven tabs installed. That one will not go in. Derek is too strong for his own good, yeah. so he kind of busted that one out a little bit, but all the other ones are in, so. We're gonna roll with it. So right now we're just working on the bottom lifts. Um, we're putting on the two little uh, side pieces. These are gonna hold the fin lip right there. It's the top one. And that top one actually mounts into the bottom grill itself. Um, but as we were showing you, these these things are a pain. Jordan just mounted up our fog lights um, from Dio Dynamics, so that was good. And our cracked tab that I caused, it's okay. It's gonna work. But now we're just gonna um, clip these tabs in. These are the covers. This is fucking sketchy, dude. This shit's creaking like Ben's mom's bedroom. Bitch. What? <laughs> hey. So we've got it set up on this table right here, a little toolbox for support. We're just hooking on this uh, upper uh, bumper right uh, here. You say uh, upper from, bumper? Yeah, and there one that goes underneath. This is definitely the, the upper of the lower. Upper of the lower, thank you, Jordan. Upper of the lower bumper. Um, it just snaps into that grill piece that was uh, with, uh, had the clips on the bottom that you saw earlier. And yeah, we're just lining it up right now. I got the middle in. Yeah, the I middle, just can't get these sides. And the it's a little tricky. You've got this little fin that popped up right here. And that should clip in as well. Hi, how are you? Hello. You got a little monk with you? Yeah. A little monk. He can close the door. He likes it in here. Bumper is all installed. Yeah, for the most part. We just got the bottom look to do now. Um, it's just a little tedious. That's about it. It's nothing crazy. It's actually- Definitely bring a friend. Yeah, you're gonna need some people. But I will say for an aftermarket bumper, everything is mounting up pretty solid. Um, it does take a toll on your fingers because it's so many little clips, but it's not too bad. I would give yourself, honestly, about an hour and a half, two hours to fully assemble this thing. Um, just a lot of clips and a lot of lining up, a lot of shimmying, so it's kind of a pain, but it's, you know, it's not as bad as um, it could be, I guess. All right, guys, assembly on the Mach 1 front bumper is complete. We do have the diode dynamic fog lights installed. We have the double lips, both grills, little grill inserts for the, um, yeah, that thing. The quality, all said and done, I think it's gonna be really nice on the car, so. Looking forward to it, and um, the next clip you see, we will be tearing Hades apart, and the bumper's going on. All right, check it out, guys. It's the next day. I have Hades here behind me, jacked up, wheels off, about to rip off the stock bumper. Get this stripped off. I'm not going to film it. I've done it time and time again, and then, uh, you know, we're going to slap on old Mach 1 bumper. I just finished up some uh, little other pieces, and... You know, she should slap on pretty simply. So, tic-tac-toe, three bumpers in a row. Uh, Hades' original bumper is officially off. And uh, we're about to do the Plastic Surgeon Facelift. Dr. Barron's first facelift on an S550. I've been successful with the S197. No patients have died. So, I think we're looking pretty good. All right, guys, check it out. We finished the Mach 1 front bumper conversion on my 2020 Mustang GT Hades. Wow, what an absolute W. Everybody right now, take my word for it, spam Ws in the comments below because this modification to this S550 was just ridiculous. And I wanna go and say, with the rear diffuser and the ZL1 add-on uh, wicker built, 
this was my full vision. Like when I went and modified the rear end last week or the last two weeks, and if you haven't checked out those videos, please run them up after this video. Uh, the whole time in my mind, I knew that Mach 1 bumper was going on and boy did my like vision come to reality. And you guys have doubted me with this car. A lot of you doubted me with the front bumper, the hood, the wheel and tire setup, blah, blah, blah. So I want to go ahead and uh, say um, I knew what I was doing from the very beginning. Just putting that out there. All right, so look, we're gonna close this door, shut off that light, shut off these lights, if I can grab it. Jesus. Ah, okay. With these diode dynamic um, fog lights, they're actually like a switchback and DRL running ultra white fog light. So there is no, there is yellow, but the DRL factor of it isn't yellow. It's, um, or amber, it's pure white and it matches the tri bar on the headlights. So Diode Dynamics did an amazing job designing these. They're sick. Uh, the plug and play harness adapts to the headlight. Then you run and just uh, take the pin and uh, put the pin in the empty slot in the fog light harness. Super, super simple. Um, but yeah, here's what they look like in the dark. And then we're gonna pull out old Hades. So here you go, check it out. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. So they light up amber, then they boot up, little animation, boom. Those things are freaking clean, dude, sheesh. <laughs> Damn, this thing looks so good. I love it. I absolutely love it. I think it complements every modification I've done so far so well. Um, and the reason, you know, with the crazy rear end stuff that I wanted to do was because this lip, it's like a double lip. It has like this winglet off the side, which, you know, I like it because it is different. Um, and that's why I really like the Mach 1 front bumper, which I think a lot of people do because of that reason. And it just, I don't know, it flows so well. Um, the, we are missing one thing though. Um, I really, really, really want to get GT500 splitters. You guys know the GT500 splitters, it's like an extension piece that comes off here with like kind of this style. And uh, I think it'll just flow so well with everything we got going on because we technically have an aftermarket splitter on the rear here with the uh, diffuser. And I love it, man. The rear end's looking meaty. Oh. I know a lot of you all were not a fan of the diffuser and the wicker bill install, but I, I have to disagree. I gotta disagree. I think it looks so sick like this. Just so freaking sick, man. Let me know down in the comment section down below, is this a fat W? Because I truly believe it is. And if there's anything you would change on Hades right now, what's the next thing? Uh, let's discuss the Extreme Online Store um, Mach 1 bumper quality. Uh, as you saw in the beginning, we did have a little um, little issue just getting some of the, the grills, the bottom vents and whatnot installed just because it's such a tight fit, but it does work. You just gotta take your time. Don't be like me and uh, like try to rush it because I did break a clip, but thankfully it wasn't anything that was a make it or break it deal with the install. Um, that's just kind of what I've heard from every brand. The Extreme Online Store one, there's another one that's like, starts with a V, you have the 777 style. They're all the same because I've talked to everybody that have done every single one of those. Um, so I wouldn't really 
I would just brush that off. I just want to mention it just because it's something I went through. Uh, as far as quality though, like fitment, bolting it up, um, everything was freaking perfect besides the performance pack um, underbelly tray. I don't know why, but it did not line up perfect, but I did make it work though. I utilized holes and I used two zip ties. I will admit to that, but you won't even know where they're at just because, you know, the holes that we were supposed to use did not line up, but you can make it work. I made it work. This has absolutely everything um, that it came from with the factory besides the bumper clearly and it worked if you do plan on doing this And you have a performance pack model you do have to just make the underbelly work But it's it's totally fine like it's not a big deal whatsoever And it would not uh, shy me away from getting this kit ever again um, Because it is freaking flawless man. I will admit uh, I, I wouldn't go OEM not after seeing the fitment the install uh, how the paint laid on this bumper this is the one I'd buy, truthfully. Uh, OEM, you're gonna be spending probably another two grand just for an OEM product when this fits just as good. And I'm putting it out there. So we just pulled up the sheets, filling up on E85. Another look around the bumper. Everything felt great while driving, so that's a plus. But this thing looks sick. I'm very satisfied with it.